Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our SQL coding interview question series, which we have started few weeks back. If you haven't seen the old videos, I have put the link to those videos in my description box. So you can go there and check all those videos. Yes. Now let's discuss the question and let's see the approach to solve that question. So in the question, we are given the data as you are given a table named as teams, having unique set of teams. So we are given a table which is teams and it is having a unique set of teams and our problem statement says write a query to output all the combination of matches such that all the teams play exactly one match with each other so we have to output all the combination of matches such that each team plays exactly only one match with each other that is like delhi capitals versus chennai super kings so this should not repeat once again so it should have only one entry in our output table so you can see the output so our output should look like this. So CSK versus Delhi Capital, Chennai Super King versus Mumbai Indians, like this, our entry should be shown in the output. So now let's see the approach to solve this question. So the simplest approach which we can think of solving this question is we will do the self join on the teams table on either the team code column or the team name column. But the problem with that approach is that in that case, we will get the duplicate entries. For example, let us consider we have only two teams, Tally Capital and Chennai Super Kings. So when we do the self join on the teams table, we will get the entry as Tally Capital versus Chennai Super Kings and we will also get Chennai Super Kings versus Tally Capital. But as per the criteria given in the question, there should be only one match between the two teams. So this does not meet our criteria. So to solve this question, we are using the window function here. So we are using the row num function here. Now, in step one, we are adding a column row num to the end of the table. So now in the step two, we are performing known equation. So till like most of the time, what we used to do, we used to do the equation. So what is that? In the equation, the joining condition will be based on the equality operator. But in the non equation, our condition will be based on the non equality operator, like less than, equal to, less than or equal to, not equal to, like that. So here, what we are going to do, we will take the table which we have uh, got in the step one, and after that, we will perform self join on that on the row num column. So you can see how we have done that, and after that, we will get the output which we want. So now we will see the SQL query to solve this problem. So there are many ways to write the SQL queries. Once you have got the concept, there are many ways to write that. So here I am doing, I am going to do it in three ways and if you have already got the concept, you can write it in many ways. So first of all, let's, let me show you the table which is given to us, the given data. So this is the data which is provided to us. Now this is the method one, what we are going to do here, if you can see, I have taken the teams table here and I have appended the row num column to it. So you can see. So same is the code uh, here also. So this is the same code only and I have uh, given this the name as A and this table is given the name as B and I have done in a join on this on the condition A dot row num is less than B dot row num and I have selected this close from here. So let me run this collectively and see the output. Yeah, so this is how we will get the output and this is the desired output as well. So this is the one way of doing this. The another way of doing is, yeah, so in the another way, we are going to use a concept of view. So if you can see here, we are writing the same code again and again. We are writing the same table name again and again, same code. So this is like not an optimized way or not an efficient way. So to do so, what we are going to do, we are going to create a view. View is nothing but a temporary table. So once we create that, now we have created a temporary table known as temp teams. So if you want, we can see the data in temp teams as well. So let me write the query for that. Select star from temp teams. So you can see this is the data in the temp teams. We have just created the temporary view here, temporary table, which is called as view only. 
now we have what we have done like uh, you can see instead of adding the same query again and again we now we have simply written that table name which we have created that is temp teams and we have written the same query which we have written above and this is how we are going to do this in that another way another way of doing this uh, is uh, using a recursive common table expression so if you have any idea about that then you, you will get this approach as well if you don't have any idea you can uh, let me know in the comment section i will make sure to create a video on that as well so this is the another way of doing that here we are creating a temp team table you can see we are creating a temporary table only temp team and here we are using that table so this is how we are going to do do it using the recursive common table expression okay so yeah we are getting the error here because we have to run the complete code when we are doing it using the common recursive common table expression yeah so now you can see we are getting the output here so that's it about this video guys if you have any doubts then do let me know in the comment section i will try to sort it out for you and also if you have liked the video then please please press the like button and also i'm going to upload many videos in this series going on so you can do press the subscribe button as well so that you will never miss any video from this channel and this is very helpful for any product based or service based company wherever there is a school interview round yeah so thanks guys thanks for watching